sorry about that unscheduled um, uh, rapid disassembly. The radio, though. But um, so we're going to be on a radio program. Tim and I did a talk show. It's going to be on K K Y B N, I believe, ninety eight point one in the Bay Area. It's going to be at five o'clock in the morning on Wednesday the seventh. At, at, at that's Pacific Daylight Time. And so four o'clock locally. Yeah, this coming Wednesday. Uh, pretty pretty interesting interview. We had a lot of fun doing it. Um, the the young lady that hosted, fantastic. Can't say enough about her. Um, so here you can see the expansiveness going into Mexico. You can clearly see the delineation of the border wall, the border fence. Um, it's it's wide open country here in Arizona. And over on our left is lots and lots of mines. Yes. This is, Cochise County is littered with mines. I think there's, there's still uh, like over 5,000 uh, abandoned mines that you can claim as your own and start to dig it. And we know where a bunch of them are. But it's just uh, really expansive. So you start seeing a town out here on the on the right in the distance. That's Mako. There's two sides of Mako. There's the American side of Mako, and there's the Mexican side of Mako. There is a border crossing. A lot of people cross over into Mexico for dental work, uh, cheap, uh, and prescriptions. Prescriptions. Uh, cattle. It is uh, it is frowned upon. But it's not illegal. Of course, crossing into Mexico to get medical work done or buy prescriptions, you're uh, you're taking a chance of going up against the cartel. I mean, they uh, they run everything on that side of the fence. It's a fact. Uh, me, I wouldn't mind going. A little militia action wouldn't hurt my feelings none at all. But uh, yeah, there's just. There is just a brilliant amount of hiking, open country, and things to see in Cochise County. The more you know, the more you see, the more you see, the more you know. So come on out and give it a go. You can still buy land out here pretty cheap. You can buy a house in Mako, the American side. It'd be right on the border. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> But some of you might. There's, I've, I know people that, that live in Naco on the American side that work in Sierra Vista. Because there's not many employment opportunities in Bisbee or Naco. Or Naco. So a lot of people have jobs working for the school district. Uh, sanitation and other things for Sierra Vista. See, I think it'd be great to open up a, a rock and roll bar in Naco and call it the Naco Rocco. That serves tacos? Oh yeah, you gotta serve tacos. Sorry Taco Bell, that's not real food. Then um, you can always tell the wife, hey baby, I'm going to I'm going to Naco to Rocco Taco. <laughs> <laughs> that that right there is just funny. So, lovely cloudy sky shows that we got a little rain. It's uh, temperate weather. It's it's just beautiful down here. Just beautiful. When I first moved back into Arizona from Texas, I forgot, because I used to live in northern Nevada, and I forgot how much I love the, the high country desert. Moving here to Sierra Vista seven years ago, wow. I just, I, I can't even tell you how much I love the open country. Now add to that the old west that we live in, and it's fantastic. So coming up here, we're going to have a left turn. It's going to take us... A left turn? A right turn. Yeah, you, you got my other left. left. Yeah, your other left. So, see where that white car came out, Tim? That's where we're going to turn right. That, that's going to take us right past Camp Mako. Are we going to drift it? We, um, it's a Jeep. I don't think it can drift. Um, drift's on dirt. We 
we did a really extensive video with Professor Orozco, uh, who is the, the resident historian, archaeologist, and knowledge base for Camp Naco. Sure, this one. She would. She just. She gave us a fantastic tour of the camp. You can start to see the roofs of the camp as we come down this road uh, with Naco in the background. Now this is the last of the American military, well, U.S. Army forts that were on the border. So, uh, Mexican Revolution, the uh, war with Mexico, all really tied in, and this is the last one. So, as, as what we've been told, the video we did with the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club, Professor Orozco, that we did a couple of years ago, here um, on Camp Naco, went to the Department of Interior and helped Bisbee and Camp Naco, the Friends of Camp Naco, Preserve Camp Naco, help them obtain a grant to aid in the preservation of the camp. Something we're pretty proud of. Um, There's, there's Naco. You can see the border fence more clearly now. It's a clear, dark delineation um, as it travels west to east or east to west. Um, we like to joke around and say that our ancestors, or forefathers, traveled by wagon west until they reached the sea and we're the generation that turned back east and started heading back east. <laughs> we ended up in Arizona. <laughs> That's funny. I don't care where you're from. So, Camp Narco is literally... What happened to the mirror? List, list sits within rifle range of Mexico. Which is, I have to say, very interesting. And from what I can see here, it looks like we've got some new roofs and things going on at Camp Naco. And that's just from what I can see here, which is very, very cool. It's it's on our left, because a lot of people are gonna go like, what the hell is he talking about? We're so far away. And the new roofs were in about there. It'll be on our left. And you can see the border fence. It's going this way. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm going like that, except I think it's funny. <laughs> it might not be, leave a little comment in the comments, I know some of the haters will. By the way, a scarecrow did not teach me how to wear my hat, thank you very much. I think they got it because your hair was coming out like, from under your Like hat. silky corn silks, that's how beautiful they say my hair is. And there's a reason I wear my hair long. A very good reason. When I moved here and was able to reconcile and spend time with my father as the prodigal son, I made a promise to God that if God would give me at least a year with my father, I would be as the Nazarene and never cut my hair again. God gave me a year and two months and as promised, I will not cut my hair again. So everybody that gives me a hard time about my long hair, kiss it. It's between me and God. Yeah. So I'm hoping we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of improvements at Camp Naco. So you can you can better see the camp from here now as we approach these buildings here on our left on our left that's all part of Camp Naco and they have really knocked it out I see a lot of new roofs I see construction I see boarded up windows I see restored um, material on the roof boy they have really been going yeah porta potty I see supported walls wow. they resealed the vents yeah that's the kitchen area that we did yeah this is the barracks on, right here. They, look at that. They even did some stuff to the officer buildings across oh, the street. Oh, they did. 
Wow. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to get together with Professor Orozco and get an update going because well, this we is gotta fantastic. Let him do a little more. Well, they got picnic tables going. So yeah. this, these are the officers' buildings that were left. There's these two here that are pretty much standing still, fenced off, and then there's those two there that are not. Mm. Big new sign. Picnic tables. Yeah, those are new. Yeah. And wow. there's the straight the train station that used to be behind the fort. Yeah, we gotta get a hold of Professor Orozco. Look at this. They they did, oh. did a bunch of work over here They've on, done a lot of cleaning. on these buildings. Yeah, they cleaned and, out all the fire and reinforced damage. them. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to have Professor Orozco take us around and give us an update. That's just fantastic. That's awesome. Water tanks. Look, they so, cleaned out even the back half. Remember how? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll talk to Professor Rosco. Stop sign. Turn right. Go to the border crossing. Man, Tim suffers from squirrel syndrome. Is this a stop sign? I didn't think so. You got to go to the stop sign and turn right. If you listen to what he says, you will follow him and, and come out very well. See the sign. It says access to Mexico. Silencio, Gordo. So, here's the stop sign. We're turning right. See, a bunch of little cute houses. Uh, this is Naco, the American side. And you see a lot of wood bars on the windows because it's Naco, the American Hello. side. Hello. <laughs> uh, Bolivia, Bolivia. So, if you want to go to Mexico, you actually have to access it a little bit to the left and then come back in. We're just going to show you the, the highlights. And then that'll be the end of the video. I mean, I imagine, uh, you know, back in the day, I imagine Naco was quite the, uh, quite the site. Border town. Yeah, I bet you it was quite something back in the day. Jaywalker. You can't cross there. You need a crosswalk, mister. Somebody call a policeman. I'm just kidding. Yeah, very interesting stuff. Looks like an old uh, motel or an inn. Yeah, you gotta use the. <laughs> he, he doesn't listen. These are original old, buildings. old businesses that were the original part of American Sign Rocco. Uh, Carnation, Fresh Milk Sign, Irma's Grocery. Wow. What these business storefronts could say. Ah, oh, that's right. It's a one way I forgot. Well, folks. This there, is the walk gate there is Mexico. Into Mexico. There is the fence. You can see that it's two fences actually. That no man's land in between is where Tim likes to run into. Um, I only did it once and they have no sense of humor. And that was what? That's fact. Four years? Five that's years? Fact. Something like that. So yeah, here's here's Mako. Here's the old businesses. So this has been your yeah, third installment of the tour of Sierra Vista and Little now Naco. Naco. Yes. We thank you very much. We would appreciate you liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing the video. Please watch some of our videos so we can add watch hours. And um, more to follow. Cassie, what's our tagline? This has been a Fun Brothers production. Thank you, sweetheart.